Hey guys, yes I'm back and I'm gonna be talking again. Um, In Hiding is probably the best show I've made. I mean, I actually attempted back in 2014 to make a show, which I just now remembered. I don't want to get too specific on what it was. It was, let's just say, a dream type of series. And um, the reason why I wanted to make In Hiding was because I was really determined on making a show. And I just like, I was like, no, I'm going to make a show and I'm going to stick to it, which I did. I ended up making 10 episodes, which I promised, all being six minutes. And boom, season one. I completed it. I, I had mixed feelings about making a season two. I don't know if I'm going to make it. In Hiding was inspired by my music video. If, if you haven't watched them, it's about like a killer taking this regular guy. Well, it's actually Crybaby's brother. He kidnaps him because he's obsessed with him and basically keep them cat cat in I don't know. And that's what happens. So like yeah, I decided I was like, hmm, I should make that into a show. And that's why you got this lame crap. My show isn't the most interesting which or is not the most action packed, but it is better than what I started with in back in um roommates. And I feel like I've actually grown as an editor for video. Like, I realized my editing skills for that show was actually decent. The characters looked like they were in the same place, even though you know they were all played by me. Well, the main three were played by me. So it's kind of crazy to think that I've actually pulled off making a show it's only me as a character. But that's why I'm having weird feelings about season two. Because I don't know whenever that can happen. Because this show is like big. Like anything can happen basically at this point. If it's in the town, anything can happen. And a lot more characters could be shown, but I need people and I need time. Like I don't know when I'm gonna have the time. I'm hoping by 2018 I will have time, but I don't know. The sun is going up and down, so if you see the brightness get bigger, the dim it gets dim. It's the sun. Anyway, I was really happy and proud of this show and what it became. I can't believe I started this show back in May, and it's already September, and the show is done. I finished it in August, and that's actually the premiere of Roommates back in August, so it was like August 3rd, but I'm still happy that I finished the show. I really did like playing the characters. I wasn't supposed to be the killer. I was actually just supposed to be me and Diane, but that changed plans. And a lot, actually, a lot of the show changed of its plans. Diane's death was actually supposed to be in like episode five, but I decided to keep her longer, like around episode four. I was like, you know what? I don't think she should die yet because I felt like it was too soon. Like I felt like. You just now got to meet Diane in episode 3. Why would you kill her in episode 5? So I decided to keep her for like 6 more episodes. And she took him at her fate in episode 9. But yeah. The haircut of her also, like, it was actually supposed to symbolize that she lost. Like, she, she's weak. When you first met her, she was determined, eager, and always had her head up. Episode 9, she was afraid and angry. 
and she is dead. Her character is dead, but obviously Diane is still alive. She's just no longer in the show anymore, which I'm kind of sad about because like she was she was the best character. I feel I feel like Jack had nothing on Diane because Diane was the best character and I liked playing her. And it was fun while it lasted, I guess. But her change from the show and what she is now, I felt like it was appropriate because like it will help you distinguish the character because the character had long hair for like a most of the show and she has short hair now. So like maybe that's a little different. Just like with Jack, Jack has blonde hair and right now I have blue hair. I mean my hair's gonna end up blonde anyway later on, but this show had I guess differences from now to that. And when uh there was a lot of foreshadowing in the show and what I did. I actually mapped out how I wanted to make the show. So like if you rewatch rewatch it and if you try to listen in, I know my audio sucks. I know. This is on a phone by the way. This whole show was on a phone. A cell phone. With limited storage. The audio sucks. But if you could hear at least a hint of it, I foreshadowed Diane's death. I'm not gonna say what episode I foreshadowed it, but it was really early on when I foreshadowed that she would die. I've also foreshadowed Jack's hair also. I also foreshadowed that. And I kind of foreshadowed Diane's hair in the beginning, but I changed it to like me. But I foreshadowed a lot of things, and you would see it in the early episodes, and you see it come to play in the later episodes. So if you watch carefully the show, you would see the Easter eggs that I carefully sprinkled and placed. But that's because I have already planned every episode. I do. I would just change minor things of how it would play out. So that's why something would be changed out of plan. But I keep everything general. So like it will happen eventually. Just maybe not now, but later on. So yeah. Thank you for watching this long ass video. And thank you for supporting the show and me. And yeah, Kazoon tight. <laughs>